Hello, what is up you guys? My name is Karina and today we have fur flying everywhere. <laughs> so today I have a Victoria's Secret haul with some of uh, the new stuff. We have the rest of the Radiant collection and some other stuff I bought. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be showing you today and reviewing. So let's do a quick recap. We've, we, did, we did these, right? We did Velvet Petals Radiant and the Pure Seduction Radiant. Velvet Petals Radiant, I think, in my opinion, might be the best one from the collection. It just has such a sweet, like, watermelon and kiwi, like, candy type smell. It's just so good. Like, amazing. Like, 10 out of 10. So good. Oh, I smell the kiwi more than I originally did now. Like, before it was so light. Now I truly smell like a kiwi. So good. If you get one from the collection, I would say get this one. It's so girly, so sweet, so just amazing. 10 out of 10. But we already know that. Then we have Pure Seduction Radiant, which I personally really, really love. This is very juicy. It's definitely, you definitely get pineapple and you get a very intense grapefruit smell that I could say some people might consider even bitter because this is like strictly juicy, not just like sweet, but I love those kind of scents. This is the category of scents where some people might not like as much as me, but I'm such a fan of anything super juicy, grapefruity, pineapple-y, like I love those kind of scents. And I absolutely love this one. If you like grapefruit, like true grapefruit, not like a sweet sugary grapefruit, and you like pineapple, I think you'll really love this. It might turn bitter, but I honestly don't mind anything that smells like juice I'm here for. So I really, really like this one. But yes, let's smell the other ones. So then we have a Love Spell Radiant. So this is Luminous Mango, Tangelo Fizz, Love Spell Gets Glowing. Tangelo is like that citrus, right? That looks like an orange. So I um, will be honest, I have worn this already. And I think I like it. This you get a very intense mango and orange smell. Like this, I feel like I understand why this is love spell. There's something in the undertone of this where I get it. Like if peach was substituted with mango and you added some orange in there, like I understand how this was at one point considered a version of love spell, you know? But this one might turn some people off based if you don't like like syrupy smells because that mango is very intense and not fresh I mean it's a little fresh but what I'm trying to say is if you've ever had those snack packs from for school or like lunch boxes um, I'll put a picture up but you know those where you open the plastic and then it ends up squirting everywhere and you made a mess and then you drink that water that like juice in there that comes with like those there's peaches there's like a bunch of different ones but it's a little thicker and that's what this smells like though my only concern with this is that in a on a hot summer day this might be too like heavy and syrupy and sugary if that makes sense like you want like fresh lemonade you don't want a like syrupy juicy kind of vibe you know but yeah, it literally smells like one of those snack packs and if it had mango in it and a little bit of orange. I personally like this one. I prefer Pure Seduction, but I do like this one. It's an interesting smell, but I like anything that's strictly fruity and it's not often that they come out with stuff that are just strictly fruity. So yeah, honestly, I'm, I'm a fan. I don't mind it. Up next, we have Bare Vanilla Radiant. Now this one... I was a little concerned for it because I don't um, own the regular Bare Vanilla anymore. I know it's so many people's favorite, but I'm not big on cashmere. It's a little too like heavy for me and it makes me feel sick sometimes. Like Amber and cashmere do that to me where if it's on me a little longer, I'm just not a huge fan of the scent. I understand why people love Bare Vanilla. I really do. Um, if you watch my review of the entire Victoria's Secret like classic, um, line of scents, you know that I understand, like I highly understand how bare vanilla smells and that it's nice and that it makes you feel like rich. It's just such a good smell. 
but it's just not something that I go for. So I don't know that I'll like this, but it does say Brilliant Berries Passion Fruit Crush. Bare Vanilla Gets Glowing. So I love passion fruit and I love berries. So that sounds really good. But any kind of warm, fruity fragrances, like vanilla mixed with like a warm fruit, um, gives me a headache. So that's my... Goodbye, lid. Okay, so you definitely get vanilla. Like, for sure vanilla. I feel like... I don't have bare vanilla to compare it to right this second, but from what I remember, this is a lighter vanilla. Like, it smells like vanilla extract. It doesn't have that heavier, like, deeper cashmere smell to it. But I do definitely smell the original bare vanilla in this. But it almost has a lighter feel, like a frosting feel. And then... I definitely smell some fruits in there. That passion fruit. So yeah, this one's not going to be for me because I don't like fruit mixed with um, anything creamy. It gives me a headache. Like right now it's already giving me a headache. But if you like those kind of scents, you like that like creamy kind of vanilla and fruity smell, then you will enjoy this. I do feel as if those fruity notes aren't that intense. Like I smell them. But they're very light, and I do feel that if you wear this on your skin for some time, you'll just smell that vanilla. It is a really pretty vanilla. If it didn't have that added fruit, I may enjoy it. Like, I almost want to smell cake confetti to see if it smells similar. One sec. Cake confetti is so good. Cake confetti has more of like a cakey vanilla. This is more like a vanilla extract, and you get those fruity notes. That's essentially it. I don't think it's anything like crazy, like I expected it to be something crazy, but it literally just smells like vanilla extract and some berries and passion fruit. Then you guys, I did end up picking up Secret Sunrise. So this one, they didn't have in the mist when I was in store. Um, they, I picked it up in a lotion. If you watched my review, um, uh, you know that I was really excited about this one and it did not disappoint. Uh, this one reminded me of Pure Seduction when I smelled it in store. And I understand why I was saying that, it has that like undertone, but this is just like the sweetest berry smell ever. It's so good. I almost get something like not simply sugary, like you get a little bit, I get a little bit of zestiness in it, like there's a little extra like oomph to it, but it's just really, really sweet berries. It reminds me of, I think they're wild strawberries, the ones that are slightly like smaller and sweeter. I don't know if those are wild strawberries, but but yeah, I am literally obsessed with this. This is one of my favorite scents they've come out with recently. Like, so good. Up next, I picked up Mango Temptation. Um, I skipped over this during the sale like forever ago when this um, was out. And I love mango, so I just wanted to try it. But this is Mango Nectar Hibiscus Flower Paradise Found. Yeah, like I said, I love mango, so why not? Okay, so the mango's good. But I get something like... This is gonna sound really weird. But to me, additionally to the mango, I get either a beer smell or like a thick stem, like a flower stem or just some kind of greenery, not a flower because it doesn't smell like flowers. It's more like um, those things that grow in your yard that you cut out because you don't want them there, like weeds. Yeah, I get like a, like it's off smelling to me. The mango's there. It's also syrupy mango, but there's something beer smelling. It kind of reminds me of the Love Spell Radiant. But Love Spell Radiant is a little, it has that orange, so it's a little zestier, a little livelier. This one's not as lively. And yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Let me know what you think. But yeah, it's not bad. I just don't know if it's worth keeping if I have the other mango one, you know? But yeah, it's not, it's not bad. I'll think about this one. Also something that was apparently new, so I got one of those um, advertisements where they're coming out with a new Bombshell Beach, 
and I don't know if they've ever had a bombshell beach before, but it said try it in a rollerball. And what's funny is that it was supposedly only out in a rollerball, but it was online, you could buy the full size. And then they ended up taking it away a day later. So I don't know what happened, but I did end up getting the rollerball. I didn't read anything about it. The bottle looked so pretty, so classy. Based on the bottle, I assumed this was going to be like a coconut salt air kind of smell because it's a very classy like beach looking bottle. And I um, was fooled because the scent notes on this are juicy grapefruit, black currant, lily of the valley. Does that sound familiar to anyone? This is literally the same as Bombshell Summer and the same as Bombshell Paradise, which I have both of them. Why do I have both of them? Because I bought a Bombshell Paradise during the semi-annual sale and amazing. Then on Mercari, I saw Bombshell Summer and had to have it Guess what? Same notes. I had no idea. So fool me once, right? Like, it's fine. I also, this is my favorite, I think, perfume from Victoria's Secret. I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure this is like my favorite perfume from Victoria's Secret. So, I have both of those, and now I have this guy, which is the same thing as all of them. So this is fool me twice, where it's, it's my fault now, but I honestly don't mind. I love this perfume. If it comes out in a full size for super cheap or on sale, I will definitely buy it because I love the bottle. I honestly almost want to collect this perfume in every bottle that they come out with because I just love it that much. I love black currant. I love grapefruit. It's just very tropical. So yeah, new but not new perfume, apparently. I don't think they changed anything in this. It's literally the same exact notes, so yeah, but I really like the bottle of this, so I'm not going to open this yet because I might as well finish some of these first. Alright, then you guys, I also got a rollerball. They were for 10 bucks, so I was like, it's like, eh, it's alright, it's been better, but this is love. I've heard amazing things about this. I will say, none of these notes, like, sound like anything I would like, but a lot of people say they love this, they get a lot of compliments. So this is Fresh Juniper, which I do like Juniper. Apricot Blush Boyfriend Tea. So this sounds like a very fresh laundry smell. And that's not usually my thing. I usually don't wear like fresh laundry smells. I just, it's not, I don't know. I'm just not that big of a fan. But let's smell this. So this is very, very pretty. You definitely get like a fresh t-shirt kind of smell. It's not very like overpowering or nauseating at all. You get a little bit of that like juniper. There's like florals in there. Maybe apricot. It's a very, very delicate fragrance, and it's very, very pretty. Like, I think this is the perfect, like, classy, um, scent that's not very strong and intense and overbearing. It's just a very pretty. I feel like this reminds me of the color light pink. Like, when you wear just, like, I imagine a white skirt, um, that's very flowy, like a light pink blouse, you know, like classy earrings. Just a very classy girl. Yeah, it's pretty. I don't think it's anything that I would usually reach for. So I'm not sure if I'll keep it, but it is very nice. And surprisingly, this is one of the most delicate perfumes that I've ever smelled in my life. I almost want to keep it for that reason, but as it settles, I get this like simple like t-shirt smell that is very delicate but it's nothing extraordinary where I would reach for it. This would be like an everyday classy perfume. It's very pretty. It's, I think it's perfect for the spring too. Yeah, I actually don't mind this. I don't think it's my kind of notes in a perfume form. Like I would want this smell in a bar soap. Like, that would be so pleasant. I can imagine that I have, like, my own backyard that's huge and a fountain outside that I, like, bathe in and this is the bar soap that I use. I don't know. My brain goes strange places. But, yeah, it's nice. It's nothing, like, crazy insane, but it's very beautiful and delicate. So I'll have to think about this one.
let me know if you've tried it. All right, so last but not least, you guys, I have a mini of the water lotion. I did smell um, the two body mists that came out from Pink, and the water one I was like, eh, about. And then there was the calm water, I believe, that I actually really, really enjoyed. Whichever one has the pear in it, it was nice, but neither of them were something that I would choose to wear over my other scents, so I figured it wasn't worth purchasing, but a water lotion just sounds really good. So I cannot wait to put this on. I feel like a mini is the perfect thing to just try it out. Ooh, so it feels very like watery for sure. Like it almost turns into water. What is this supposed to smell like? It's kind of strange because it literally feels now that I'm just rubbing water on myself. It just kind of smells like sea minerals. Nothing like crazy or fancy. I mean, it smells okay. It's kind of cool. I wonder if this is going to be moisturizing. It's not like too sticky or anything. Let me try that again. So let me show you. So here's the little bit right there. And as I rub it in, it feels like regular lotion. It's very thin, like super thin. And right now it literally feels like I'm rubbing water in. It almost feels the same way, you know, when you have those fizzy kind of um, body lotions from Bath & Body Works after the fizz goes away. Like, that's what it feels like. It smells bright. Like, it's just nothing nothing crazy, but... I like these. Of, I remember when I smelled this one, it did have a very watery smell. Like, it smelled like actual water, which made me so happy. But yeah, it smells nice. It's... I don't know, is it moisturizing? I don't know if something that thin can be very moisturizing, but it feels nice, and for the summertime, it might be very pleasant. Right now, it does feel a little, like, not sticky, but I almost feel like there's a some kind of film or something where, like, I feel like I want to wash my hands. But I also use double the amount I normally would, so... I don't know. It's all right. It's kind of cool. I like the packaging and yeah, we'll see how I feel. Maybe I'll put in the comments over time how I feel about this guy. All right, you guys, those are all of the things that I got. Let me know what you think. Let me know which ones you've tried. Let me know which one's your favorite from the collections. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.